I guess he had this image of something that was perfect and above everybody else, but in that moment, he was saved by an angel, like the very thing he was trying to discredit. He kind of felt like a fool. All right, chapter 54, at the end of thought. Man, this is big for me, bruh. I just caught up on two mangas in one day. I caught up on Beastars, and I'm just the last chapter, well, this is the most recent chapter of Platinum Man. So I'm gonna catch up on Platinum Man too. And I've been keeping up with this series for over a year, bruh. It's really cold, bruh. I'm fucking with it, head. Let's get back to the start of it. All right, what's been going on so far? Y'all have turned to a straight villain. I don't know how I don't know how anybody else is not seeing this, bro. He turned to a straight villain. He's not even he's not even like this cynical realist anymore. He's a straight villain. Nefarious. He's a villain. He's a fiend. He's nefarious, bro. Kakehashi pretty much has said, fuck the whole human population. I want Saki. Now the general public's not fucking with Kakehashi either. But they're fucking with Yonder more, but I don't know how. Like he kinda seemed like a villain. But oh well. Saki just pulled up and saved Kakahashi. So I'm guessing Suji turned on Yanada. Or he just kind of forced himself to kill her. Alright, let's get into this. Saki, Kakahashi, swoosh. Yellow. Yumiki, Nakaomi. The god can just have returned from whatever separated them. Yana was pissed because he was not expecting this. Or was he? What is the meaning of this? Whether he's under the effect of your red arrow or not, Nagami cannot kill people who wish to be alive. You avoided human contact as much as possible, Yana. I think you like the ability to understand the emotions of others. Sociopath, psychopath, something like that. Professor, I'm sorry. I can take part in a mutual shootout to ensure that there is no god creature, but I can't just kill the other candidates outright. Mutual shootout. You're planning to kill all the god candidates and then have the last two shoot each other to ensure no god is born. Yeah, he did that testing with the people who wanted to commit suicide in that, on that island, bro. He said if two people shoot each other with white arrows, they have to hit each other within 0.8 seconds for them both to die. Crazy. It was like a little cool, crazy experiment. It was in an ethical gray area because they were already going to commit suicide. Crazy, cynical, cool, morbid. Hmm. Dude, they kind of like Noah off of D. Greymon. They're like the Noah, right? Hmm. I expected this possibility, and I have a plan in mind for it. Nagami, I would like the white arrows I gave to you back. What's wrong? Fuck, he gave him to her. Damn, she pulled up. It's emotion in her eyes right there. Boom. Professor. Ah, <clears throat> uh, his his um angel saved him. Wait, what? She did it? Why'd she do it? What? And I said, what are you doing? If he dies, we win. Everything was working. Wait, what did the professor almost die just now? He just vanished and appeared away to the other side. Plonk. I couldn't, Mirai. Because you don't want him to die either, do you? Nase. What have you done, Nase? You were the one who said that if you intervened to save a god candidate, Mirai would die. Ah, uh, damn. She's being stripped again. She's being punished. Go. Foosh. Mira, I, I'm back to being a special rank angel, I think. I see. That was the opposite action of saving her own candidate. So rather than being demoted, she was promoted. Yo, that's kind of clean. She got promoted for helping another god candidate, but demoted for helping her own. So it, I guess it's based on what is a selfish act and what isn't. Something like that. I think the angels want their god candidate to win because they'll get promoted or something like that. Everything Nasa does is without precedent. We simply don't understand her. She's the most human out of all of them. Well, all of all of the angels. Hey, Mira, wings and white arrows. I don't need them anymore. He shook. Uh, I think the reason he shook is because not only was he saved, but he shook because he did not predict this at all. 
If that angel had not saved me, I would be dead right now. Yes. So he really was about to die from a white arrow. Who shot it, Red? No, it's obviously from Yuri. Dr. Unidas said if that angel hadn't saved me, I would be dead right now. What could that mean? My life was saved by an angel, twice. Where did I go wrong? Why did you trade? Why did you betray me, Nakami? I didn't betray you. I think you're correct, Professor. There is no God, and we don't need a false one. He's telling the truth. I tricked him into giving me the white arrow. Rip. Nakami. I can't kill you. Thank you. Me too. Hurry. Oh, good. She just made it. Let's hurry back ourselves. Wait, before we go, I don't trust you. I'll take your white arrows. God Candace can hand them back and forth, right? Shing, let's go. Come to count me. Damn, took them white arrows while he was in a sunken place. I think the professor's right, but those are just thoughts and ideals. My life is my own. It's my right to decide how important it is. I just think that ending the lives of people who still want to live all because of another person's ideas doesn't make sense. By the standards of modern Japan, that opinion is largely correct. If murder occurs because of differences in theology, it might as well be barbaric, foolish, religious war. He said, fuck them crusades, guys. Huh? Is he admitting that he was wrong? I think he's admitting that he was wrong based on today's standards of what's wrong. I was from the moment I outed myself as a God candidate, in fact, from the moment I was exposed by the media without my permission, I was ready to die. What would you expect to die just from having your face exposed? You won a Nobel Peace Prize, that's an honor. I'm out here busting my ass on social media trying to get noticed, and my follow accounts going nowhere. Oh, is it because you think you'll lose email fans? The professor just wants to do research in peace and quiet. What are you saying? Only a genius scholar has troubles? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Genius is a concept that does not exist, and I'm only a foolish human. Professor, what you call genius should only be reserved for the accomplished feats and not the person behind them. That is why it is foolish to place those who achieve on a pedestal and criticize those who do not attempt to produce results. Uh, that's cool. He said, don't congratulate the person, but marvel at their accomplishment. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I get that. I hate it when people say, you can do it if you try. Why don't you do it? Because it's my decision to do it or not. That is not an incorrect interpretation. That is an incorrect. That is not an incorrect interpretation. Okay. Take my advice. True all-knowing, like true evil, does not show itself openly. It's hard to agree when you lead off with something patronizing, like take my advice. It is true. One of my foolish faults is that I speak like this. All because I was given the title of Professor Emeritus. It is nothing but a bluff. No, Professor, you can't just be a stupid human being. You've done great things, you're a genius. He won a Nobel Prize both for literature and physics. They say he sold like a billion books worldwide. He'll get a Nobel for medicine for Yonada sales too. He's a genius. Yeah, genius. 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 Man, they really gas my they gas my nigga up, bruh. I wrote a popular novel in order to gain the money to do research. Once I knew I could spell them, once I knew I could sell them, I put out books in all genres of fields. I am a shallow man. When it became known that I was the author, I claimed that friendship and love were really tools to hook readers. You did it to get research funds. There's nothing wrong with that. If you ask me, you might as well be saying you're a genius because you tried to be a hit author and it worked. No. You were correct the first time. I did everything I could to avoid interacting with others, so I do not understand them. I have no friendship, no love. I replaced them with concepts from psychology papers and act like I knew what knew what they were saying. I'm just a shallow, foolish man. Damn, they really broke him. Fuck. I think at that moment he realized how mortal he was and how prone to mistakes he was. I guess he had this image of himself that he was perfect and above everybody else, but. In that moment, he was saved by an angel, like the very thing he was trying to discredit. He kind of felt like a fool. And he kind of got the easy slides on. Them hoes clean. I should not have gotten involved. 
Now I got involved in the wrong way. It would be better to call these false angels demons instead. The more you talked to me into it, saying that I couldn't unravel the God choosing mechanism and find the truth. Because of that, I stayed alive longer. And as a candidate, I saw you appear in public and could not stay hidden anymore. But thanks to that, I was at least able to say that now is the time for humanity to make clear that there is no God. That at least is a true desire of mine. You may do as you will, Professor. Be defeated. He feels defeated. My goodness, it appears that Dr. Yanada has withdrawn his claim. But no. Does that mean that Red, aka Takahashi, would become God? Perhaps people can only find happiness through others and not by feeling more fortunate than others. He said it was for himself. The professor did it for humanity. I'm doing it for Saki. We have things we would give our own lives to protect. People we would protect. And that's a sign of great happiness. This, this manga has a huge emphasis on happiness. On philosophy. You know, like, you know, a bunch of the famous philosophers, Aristotle, Socrates, they all had theories on what was happiness. And it's just cool to see how a lot of them hold true to today. Indeed, I have caused you great trouble. Even if happiness were something that can only be gained through others, one must still avoid trouble in other people. And does that mean, and, and doing that means erasing your presence? I will die now and then you may become the creature, right? Not only does he feel foolish and defeated, he feels wrong. He feels as if he lived his life the wrong way. Damn, I guess we're all the way caught up in the trap. I mean, Platinum Man, cool little series, very slept on series. Nobody's talking about it. It's a really good chapter right there. And within a span of like six or seven chapters, we saw the climb of Yanada, how he won over all the citizens, not every citizen on his back, and then within them same six chapters, by the end of it, he realized the fault in his ways and shit like that. He realized that he did everything for his own selfish gain in a way. And also, he realized that he lived life completely wrong with the wrong goals and objectives and the wrong ideals. He realized that he wasn't above anybody and he was actually on the same level as people he used to ridicule, as the people he used to look down upon. Crazy. Really good chapter right there, man. Sheesh. So that's chapter 54 down. I'm reading chapter 55 as soon as it comes out. Yeah, fuck my other shit, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all when I see y'all, man.